Blessings everyone, grace and peace to you all. Today we're continuing on with Daniel 7, this time verse 6. We're looking at Greece the leopard. So hopefully you've seen the previous videos and that will give you some sort of grounding upon which we base the fact that this leopard is representing Greece. But either way, you know, hopefully you'll get a blessing from this video whether you've seen the previous ones or not. So as usual, we ask you to pray to the Lord for understanding and also to uh, search the scriptures for yourself. So Daniel 7 verse 6 reads, After this I beheld, and lo, another like a leopard, which had upon the back of it four wings of a fowl. The beast had also four heads, and dominion was given to it. Okay, so we have this third beast rising up from the sea. So we see it's the third in number from the beast that were here, following the lion and the bear. Uh, which, naturally, since the lion represented Babylon and the bear represented Medo-Persia, the leopard would represent Greece. Now, this leopard, in addition to being the third, also had the number four associated with it because of the four wings, which we saw was another numbering system from creation, right? Because Babylon went back all the way to the time just after the flood, but numbering from creation, the pre-flood world must be included. So the pre-flood world would be number one, Babylon number two with the two wings, the bear number three with the three ribs in its mouth, and the leopard number four with the four wings. So the interesting thing with these four wings, though, is that it says they were four wings of a fowl, which is in contrast with the two wings of the lion, which were of an eagle, right? So two wings of a lion being of an eagle were great wings, showing large periods of time, which if you saw the lion video, you'll understand what I'm talking about. And this uh, leopard having four wings of a fowl are smaller wings, showing that it wasn't as large of a period of time. And even the fact that uh, right away we see that this leopard had four heads is showing that, which we'll get to right now. Four heads, of course, Greece had four divisions, right? And that's after Alexander. After Alexander, Greece was divided into four sections. Uh, the four generals of Alexander actually uh, had these four sections. And those generals were Cassander, Lysimachus, Ptolemy, and Seleucus. And so those four generals were rulers of the four divisions of Greece. So the fact that we have wings of a fowl showing shorter periods of time was showing that this was not comprehending the entire history of Greece, right? Because when Daniel saw this leopard, it already had four heads. It didn't show the phase with Alexander. So we'll get a little bit more into detail with all that in uh, Daniel 8 and into far greater detail in Daniel 11. But anyways, this brings us to the end of the uh, period of Greece, which Greece started reigning at about uh, BC 328. And so we have a relatively short period of time before the next power came in, in 63 BC, which as we'll see in the next video was Rome. So blessings again to you all and Shalom.